limited experience I've had in a submersible has not allowed me the opportunity to be able to pilot the direction that I need and still be able to manipulate the cameras. So this is the ultimate because I can react to the animal and still be able to get the image. My name is Nancy McGee. I'm an underwater filmmaker and explorer. Today I got a chance to be the first female to get in the exo suit. Well gosh, we're so limited from a diving perspective right now that we can only access what the top 2% of the ocean and, and to have the technology to be able to get into the deep ocean and film things that nobody's seen before. We know there's a lot of life down there. We know there's a lot of action taking place, but we can't get to it or very limited. We know so little about the underwater world. All set, Mike? All set. Coming down. All right. So I like Nancy right now. Is it getting real yet? <laughs> it, it is getting real. Yeah. I found as I've evolved as a diver that the ability to have that connection with an animal Bye. and have that calm nature that you're not going to be rattled by much of anything is, is afforded me the chance to see and photograph a lot of different creatures. And that's what I think about the exosuit. It's going to take a certain attitude by the person that's in it just to be able to be calm and function in that sort of environment in a really isolated situation. So in the water, the arms actually want to be buoyant. They want to float a little. Uh -huh. To see this kind of technology and this many opportunities, what could be done with this suit, both as, as a scientist and as a filmmaker, and in my case, as a filmmaker, but the opportunity to get it underwater and to drive it and to be able to manipulate the arms, be able to move around and function, and then be able to get out and immediately start editing my footage instead of spending time in a recompression chamber. What an incredible opportunity. Wow, that is outstanding. Where we can go from here is uh, uh, just, so exciting.